close look at the guitar neck, and we're gonna start off this lesson learning our Mixolydian scale, because all the chords and the notes within them featured within this song are all coming from that scale. Okay, so the Mixolydian scale and the key of B flat, it's gonna sound like this. All right, anybody that knows their major scale would recognize that it's pretty much the same exact thing, only that seventh note in the scale is flatted back one fret to the what's called the dominant seven. So I have. Let's do that nice and slow. My frets, I'm playing six, eight, five, six, eight, five, six, eight. I can also play another octave of that scale starting here on the eighth fret. A little slower. Alright, now that we've gotten warmed up with our Mixolydian scale, we can get into the chord progression. This is a very simple chord progression based off, again, our Mixolydian scale. And it starts here with a B flat major chord. My first finger is barred across the 6th fret. My third finger is here on the 8th fret of the A string, pinky just underneath that on the 8th fret of the D string. And my middle finger is on the G string, 7th fret, and everything's being barred. I'm strumming from E string to E string. Next, I'm gonna take this whole operation down one string and up two frets. This creates an F minor chord. All right, just to kind of clarify where my fingers are, I'm barring now everything here on the eighth fret. My third finger is on the 10th fret of the D string, pinky underneath that 10th fret of the G string and my middle finger here on the minor third. That is the ninth fret of my B string. So I have. All right, so far we have the B flat major, an F minor, and then finally, I'm gonna finish it up with the last chord in the progression, and this is all you're gonna need for the whole song, an E flat major chord. All right, to do this, I'm basically playing an A major chord. All right, if you already know that, it's gonna be up here on the eighth fret. So that's middle finger on the eighth fret of the D, third finger beneath that same exact fret, eighth fret, G string, and my pinky beneath that eighth fret, B string I have. My major triad there, and now my first finger is gonna bar the open strings. I strum from my A string down. Okay, so now that we have our chord progression down, we can take a look at our flamenco style intro. I'm gonna demonstrate the first part. It sounds like this. Let me do it a little slower. All right, so that was seventh on the, on the G string, up to the eight on the D, back to seven, up to 10th fret on the G string, to the 8th fret of the G string, 10th fret on the G string, then to the B string 8th fret. So far we have. Finally I have this last little tag, 8, 10, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 10, 8, 10, 8, 8, 10, 7, 8. Okay, moving on to section number two. It's gonna sound like this. One more time, slow. All right, starts on here on the B string. I'm going to the ninth fret. Then I'm going, do a little hammer on pull off action, eight, nine, eight. To the 10th fret of the G. So far we have. 
Then I'm going eight on the B string, nine, 10, eight, nine, and then G string, eight, and then eight with a hammer on up to 10. A little vibrato there at the end. So the whole thing will sound like this. One more time with the fret numbers. I got nine, eight, nine, eight, ten, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, eight, ten, nine, hammer, ten, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, eight, ten. Finishing up there on the G string. Okay, so moving on to part number three, it sounds like this. Real slow. One more time, real slow. Okay, so that was the eighth fret of the D string. A little bit of a pause, play it again. To the seventh fret. So far we have. Then I'm reaching up to the 10th fret of the, G, of the G string. So far we have. Next I'm going seven, eight, 10. That brings us to. Then I'm gonna add in the eighth fret of the B string and the G string. So far. Then finally, I'm just going 10 on the G and eighth fret of the B. That whole thing. slow. And a little vibrato at the end. All right, let's move on to part number four. At this point, the cellos have come in and the guitar has become a little bit obscured, but we're going to do the best we can. It's going to sound like this. One more time, real slow. Okay, so that was my ninth fret here on the B string. Little pause. Same kind of pull off hammer on situation that we did before, eight, nine, eight, to the 10th fret of the G. So far we have. Then I'm going eight, nine on the B. So far we have. One more time, in time. Now I'm gonna take my pinky and slide from the 11th fret up to the 13th. Then I'm gonna slide again, picking that 13th fret and sliding up to the 15th fret. And then I'm gonna play that 15th fret once by itself before cruising up that same exact scale, 11, 13, 15. Three and four. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking in. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on Diego Garcia's You Were Never There. I got plenty more videos coming up, so keep checking back and please subscribe. I'm Rob from Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.